It was once a place where you could spot the likes of Billie Holiday walking down the street. San Francisco's Fillmore District was a center for black culture with its lively jazz clubs and thriving businesses. But then came the urban renewal, first in the 60s, then another wave in the 90s that pushed a lot of the black population out of the neighborhood and the city. Now a new immersive play brings to life the struggles the community faced back then. One of the women behind it is Erica, whose family lived through the pain of being uprooted. Our Laureen Ayub has the story. It was once known as the Harlem of the West, but the Fillmore District has been through many changes. A new immersive play is depicting that history and community members are sharing their experience. It's a block full of memories. Fourth generation Fillmore native Erica Scott is reflecting on the home she grew up in. When prices spiked after city redevelopment efforts, her mother had no choice but to sell. It's hard um, just being the home that we grew up in and the fact that she left and she didn't want to leave. It just got so overwhelmingly expensive. Erica's story is like many others in the Fillmore, where what appeared to be an initially positive intention to revitalize torn down neighborhoods ended up displacing black communities who were promised a right to return. There were just so many barriers in place where it was just virtually impossible for a huge significant amount of people to come back to, to the neighborhood. And while Erica may have lost her childhood home due to such changes, she remains committed to the Fillmore. In its heyday, the community, once known as the Harlem of the West, was thriving with Black-owned businesses and vibrant artistry. To know that Billie Holiday really was like on these streets and like Nat King Cole and Sammy Davis Jr., you know, these are like real music icons. And this is where they came. They look forward to coming to San Francisco, the Fillmore and the Harlem of the West. But Erica doesn't want that creative energy to just be a memory of the past. She opened up her own studio in the heart of the Fillmore for local artistic showcases. And a new immersive play entitled The Fillmore Eclipse is taking place there. The production reenacts the very heartfelt moments when families, due to barriers like poverty, were pushed out. What were you when I was gathering signatures? Sitting in the courtroom, standing outside in the rain. Actress Janelle Shante says she's honored to depict the community's history. I feel grateful to have been chosen to be a part of this project, and um, I'm glad I didn't leave the Bay Area in a lot of ways because of this project. I know many times I felt like, oh, I should migrate out and go here, go there, but I feel like God was like, no, you're right where we need you to be. As the cast rehearses, the play features live jazz music and audience interactions. Director Michael French says the project is sacred to the community. There are people here whose descendants are still in the neighborhood. So you're not talking about something to do with Shakespeare where those folks are not around anymore. This is real stuff. And that's exactly why Erica is committed to continuing her own efforts in the Fillmore. It's bigger than me. It's something that our community deserves. It, it's something that we've all been just in our own silos saying that we have such a strong history and such a strong presence. We've contributed so much to the city and that's not what you see. That's not what you hear about us. And this is an opportunity to show not only what we're doing today, but the legacy of where we come from. And that's the Harlem of the West. An authentic reflection of Bay Area history that continues on today. Uh, and there are now additional performances of the Fillmore Eclipse. It has been extended through May 26th.